<laughs> oh, there you are. This is a bag I got at the market, the grocery store in India years ago. They were already, we like to think we're ahead of everybody. <laughs> they were already making little market recyclable stuff. So, it's been a long time and I'm just wondering uh, if I've started to repeat myself. You know those people that tell the same story over and over? <laughs> If you like the person and it's a good storyteller, it's it's pleasant. You see little subtle variations and things, but generally, <laughs> I don't even like them the first time. Well, all of the stories I have, which is uh, uh, endless, I guess, <laughs> the one because there's not everyone what I put on YouTube. So. Uh, but I'm afraid, now I just got an idea for a story. I mean a story, I thought, have I told that one already? Uh, because I know it's one I think you would find amusing, but I can't remember. So, uh, bef so uh, before I tell you that story, I'm going to tell you a story um, of what just happened right now, which made me uh, think of that other story then we, we will segue into that. Uh, I was in practicing and uh, I had the door open and as I kept, as I was playing, my back is to the door and I, uh, as I was playing, I kept hearing noises uh, like in the hallway and uh, then I'd stop and, and look out there actually or even come all the way back to this end of the flat um, because there there have been house burglaries in the last few months not in the daytime I don't think but uh, on in this block so uh, I was a little nervous so I sat down to resume playing again and uh, then I remembered this this uh, this story okay so I was living um, I was about 40, 39, 38 in there. It was the end of the 60s. I was living in this Victorian flat, and I had, um, uh, there were a bunch of hippies uh, lived downstairs from me. At that time, I hated that word. In fact, I still do, uh, but uh, anyway. Uh, so, uh, one of them was very, was very, well, we were, you know, seeing each other on the stairway. So, um, he was helping me make a film, and we were shooting it, and we were in one end of my flat shooting it. I had already been a broke, burglarized and broken into several times. And it always happened the same way. You, you come home, you open the door, and there's somebody in there. That's usually it. And, uh, you know, they immediately, oh, uh, does Ed live here? I'm looking for Ed. And very grateful for an out, you say, no, no, I don't think you might find him next door. You know, just to get whoever this creature is out of your house. So I had done that several times. I don't know, I guess I just reached my limit. So because I had David with me, he was, um, uh, we were in by this uh, antique Clementi Forte piano, using it uh, to make a footage uh, for uh, the Steibelt piece, The Destruction of Moscow. So, I heard a noise, and or I went out, I guess I went out to get a drink of water, I went out the door, I started down the hall, and there were three big, dark men there. And they said, uh, oh hi, we're looking for Jack, and I said, don't give me that shit and because I was so tired of all this, you know, pretending that we like we, we don't have to acknowledge what's going on. And they absolutely melted into a puddle. So um, I just kept kept up the yelling and um, I said, uh, you know, I know I know why you're here, you know, you just get out, just leave and motion to the stairway grandly, you know, just goodbye. And they just um, crept down the stairs. 
And it was a very, very long flight. And uh, then I just was having so much fun, I just decided to keep yelling. <laughs> Even though, you know, I said, I'm getting so sick of tired of this, you know, like, what, who do you people think you are? You know, and it was just, well, I didn't say you people, but I mean, who do, you know, this, the burglars, the people breaking in, what, where were they coming from? So I did it just a little too long, you know, <laughs> they started to turn around and come back upstairs, right, with a glow in their eye. So I knew it was a moment of crisis, and if I looked weak at all, um, I, you know, I wouldn't be in good shape. So I just, I just shrugged and turned around and I said, go on, we've done enough for one day or something like that and walked off and gave him my back. And uh, I guess, and that, you know, that worked. Okay, now well, that's the story. Back to my practicing.